Hey, what is up, people? It is your boy Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get Jirachi and Mew and all the other legendaries as well. So, one of the first things I gotta tell you guys is that in order to get it, you get it in, in the very beginning of the game. They're really easy to get. And what you have to do is basically you have to have two files on your profile that you're going to be using. You're gonna have to have a profile or a save data from Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu. It doesn't matter which adventure you have. The man will give you Jirachi and the woman will give you will give you will give you a Mew. And then you can encounter this Mew as you guys can see right there, you get the Mew. You don't really have to play throughout the game if you have a file that isn't really active. You don't have to battle or or, or complete the whole game. As long as you have both um, Pokemon in your data and your Nintendo Switch, both Pokemon games saved on there from that profile, you should be good. So as you guys can see, I will also sh show you the Jirachi you get right here, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just really cool that they give you these two Pokemon. I didn't think that would have been uh, something possible in this game, but man, they, they, definitely, they definitely did a good job of actually having these two Pokemon there and as well as your Mew Mew and it looks pretty cool legendaries out of nowhere um, so yeah that's pretty much all you do anyways thanks for watching Wow that was pretty easy to obtain Jirachi are you serious just make it to here and I believe this is where you also obtain you Jirachi are you serious I think I'm gonna add him to my party let's take away Zubat Hey, what is up people? It is your boy Johnny in today's video I'm going to teach you how to capture Cresselia. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is get your national decks And this is after you've seen 150 Pokemon from the Sinnoh Pokédex So make sure to do that first because you absolutely have to get the national decks in order to unlock Cresselia and you're gonna want to go into the sailor's house. I don't know if it's this one. I think it's not this one. It's probably the next one door down here. Okay, it has to be this one. Uh, this is the sailor's house. And after you got national decks, you're gonna want to talk to this boy. This little boy is trashing about his. He appears he's torment. Dark, dark is watching me. Actually, that's not the house either. Oh yeah, it is. Never mind. You talk to them because this is the event. I lost my love of selling since my son fell into a horrid nightmare. I need the Lunar Feather from Full Moon Island to awaken him. Would you go to Full Moon Island for me? Yes. Let's go ahead. You can awaken, please, from Full Moon Island. Yes, this is actually what you do. I'm sorry. I didn't remember at all. <laughs> But I did remember that you had to go here and talk to the sailors. So his son is having a nightmare. And then you go into the house with his bed. And he'll take you to a full moon island. Where you'll be able to encounter somewhat a Pokemon. And I believe you'll be able to encounter Cresselia right here. The Pokemon flew off somewhere. There is something sparkling where the Pokemon once was. So yeah, he takes you to Full Moon Island so you can get his Luna Feather. And it allows you to uh, help him awake his son from that nightmare. That Pokemon you met was Lunar Pokemon. I heard tales of it flying from place to place through Sinnoh. Oh, that sparkle. That must be the Lunar Feather. Thank you. That will wake my son from the nightmare. So yeah, after he awakens from that nightmare, you get to be able to mark it on the Poke Edge app. As you guys can see, his son has a, almost awakened. Glow became untroubled. The little boy woke up. Oh my gosh, you're awake. My son, I don't know what to say. 
Thank you. We'll never forget you. Seeing you back to normal makes me feel great. I regain my spirit as a sailor. Come sail with me later. No prizes? Probably was Garatina. We can't thank you enough. Well, they basically thanked us with the Pokemon. So, back to the Poke Etch. I keep forgetting how to use the Poke Etch. Anyways, it's the same thing as Miss Spirit, where you have to follow the damn Pokemon. The thing keeps flying everywhere. So, the convenience is that he's right around here. He's really not that far right now. Now, one of the tips that I want to mention before I actually capture this Pokemon is you could definitely, if you can, try to get it to sleep. Get a sleep paralysis or get a sleep powder attack on one of your Pokemon. Anything that can put it to sleep because it does fly away just like Miss Spirit. It's an annoying capturing Pokemon. Um, you can also use the Master Ball as well to capture it, but I think Ultra Balls should be fine. If you have Ultra Balls, you shouldn't really have an issue. Um, as you guys can see, you always gotta go on foot because if you don't go on foot, he might disappear. So, he hasn't really gone that far. He might though. Um, no, he hasn't gone. Sometimes these Pokemon are weird. You just gotta chase them around for a little bit. People will say that, oh, you gotta keep going back between city and city. No, just try to chase them. Uh, sometimes they don't move their location. They don't tend to move their location all too often. Especially when you're trying to capture them. Alright, this one moved its location back down here. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna see if he can move closer to me because he moved way too far. I don't know, it's annoying, it's it's a progress, but I mean, eventually you'll be able to have him move closer to you. All right, I think he actually moved closer to me now. The only thing is he's going to make me go back again. The hunt is real, ladies and gentlemen. The hunt is real. It takes a while for you to catch up to him. Because he keeps moving in locations. Sometimes you just got to pin him in the right spot. He'll eventually be able to get him. To stick to you. And he keeps moving. This one tends to move a lot. Cresselia is definitely one of the most annoying ones. Even probably more annoying than Miss Spirit, to be honest. Probably gonna run out of my max repels. The reason I have max repel is because, you know... You know the drill. Hopefully we're able to capture him in time because if he moves again, I'm going to be really mad. I feel like he's going to move away again. Oh, he stayed there. He's close. Well, he doesn't move away. Don't make me act so stupid, Cresselia. Yeah, we're gonna get an opportunity. We're on the spot now. Alright, I actually kind of messed up though. 
I gotta use, uh, I use that repel. Let's war it out. So my tip when capturing these Pokemon or trying to chase them, if you're having trouble, just keep on going to different locations and until you're able to encounter him. Like, you will be able to encounter him, like right here. He should be in the water. And there he is. He is in the water, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, I'm not going to be dealing with issues. I have Master Balls, and I'm going to go ahead and capture him. He was a pain, but we managed to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Clap for Johnny. We sent it to the box, and that's how you capture Cresselia. Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to capture Garatina in Pokemon Shining Diamond and Brilliant Pearl. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and fly all the way to Vilestone City. And then you're going to want to go all the way down till you hit the route where you find the Ruin Maniac and everything else around there and you're going to want to head into an area that's kind of secretly located which is called spring path you're going to want to go ahead and go all the way to the top and you're going to enter a cave that you're going to find in the area if you're watching the video you'll be able to see the steps that i'm doing so one of the things that i want to mention right now is that there is a sort of puzzle in this cave when you get there for garatina the puzzle is pretty easy you have to pass three pillars before you enter 30 doors. Um, so if you get really lucky and you pass the, th the three pillars, you will fairly encounter him pretty quick. I got really quick on... I, got, I, I was able to encounter him pretty quick on my encountering with him. Um, I managed to pass those three pillars. It could be randomized for each and everybody. So that means... Your path may be a little bit different than mine that you're watching in this video. One other thing that I want to mention is that he can be caught with an Ultra Ball. And he is kind of hard to capture him. So you're going to have to have some patience. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that you have to beat the Elite Four. So if you're brand new to this game, you have to beat the Elite Four. And you have to unlock the National Dex. Which is getting the 150 Pokemon seen in your Pokedex. Otherwise, it will not unlock this area for you to be able to go and capture him. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more coverage of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Peace out.
people so we're gonna continue our post content here and in this video i'm going to teach you how to capture all of the lake pokemon um basically we're gonna head over to twin leaf for the first one that we can go ahead and capture and it's simply because you might want to go ahead and capture them because you, you're not you're gonna regret it if you don't capture them and they're pretty easy so the first one we're gonna go to variety lakefront and make sure to have a Pokemon that isn't too powerful at the same time isn't too weak because you're gonna not wanna defeat the Pokemon entirely because <laughs> if you defeat it entirely um, you're not gonna be able to capture it so along the way I think they have some there's a Pokeball here I don't know. I thought I had my max repel on, but I guess it wore out. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on then. Usually, I like to get everything in the area, guys. So that's the only reason I'm in this area because there's a Pokeball here that you can get a Fire Blast. Um, so that's the only reason why um, I showed up to this area. So, anyways, let's go. Um, and go back and try to get Uxie. Is it Uxie? I think it's Uxie. I don't remember which one it is. But anyways, just beat the game and then be a post content. You can encounter him here. They're pretty easy. Um, they're a pain though. Miss Spirit flew somewhere else. Rowan, Johnny, that was Miss Spirit, wasn't it? You accomplished what I asked you to do at Kind of Life Library. I asked you to get the data on the Pokemon of the lake and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of its evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve, others don't. Ultimately, it's only deep in the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Johnny, why don't you chase after Miss Spirit? It seemed to have wanted to play with you. If you were to use the marking map app on your Poke Edge, you'll be able to track the movements of the Pokemon. What, you don't have the marking app? You should occasionally pay a visit to the Pocket Edge Company, you know. I'm sure you'll be able to keep meeting countless people and Pokemon. The encounters will be keep thrilling you in your own special ways. I hope you enjoy the experience, Johnny. Take care. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but they actually fly around like... Um, like, um, I don't know if you played the classic Pokemon games, but they fly around, um, they disappear. And then you have to find them on your app. So let's go ahead and go into the Pokemon company, Poke Edge company. And we're going to go get that upgrade on the app. So we can mark it and then be able to capture it. So you're going to want to go ahead and... I don't remember if it's this one. No, this is Jubilee Life. It's TV station. This is the Poke Edge. Ah, hi, I'm the president of the Poke Edge. Hey, your patience is rewarded. We developed a new Poke Edge. You obtained the memo Poke Patch. Jotting down for whatever. And then um, let's see how it works with the switch. I never actually done it on the switch, so All right, let's see the memo app look at all the apps that we unlocked it's many of them That's for finding items Obtain Pokemon Counter, clock, flip a coin, hidden moves, time.
Wait, I thought he was supposed to give me... The marking map app. Sorry about that, guys. I knew he had another one. Marking app. Marking app, actually. You had to talk to him twice. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I made a mistake. But yeah, he gives you different stuff. So let's go ahead and go into the Poke Edge and see if we can find a marking app. Alright, so as you guys can see it, he should be around there. And one thing I'm going to recommend you guys do is that you go there by foot. So, uh, okay. Yeah, he's still there. So, the reason you want to go by foot... Oh my gosh, I messed up. Sorry. I'm kind of confused on using these apps. It's different from... I'm not used to it super well. But we're going to want to go ahead and... And, you know, you can actually look at the map. It's, it's more convenient, to be honest. I recommend max repel to a certain extent. Not always though. So we're getting somewhat closer to where his location might be. I usually fly before to it before but like every time I fly to to the location like it tends to move it doesn't stay put and I like to do one by one but this time it stayed somewhat put Probably not gonna use um, repel right now because we're going to capture it. Also, one thing I want to mention is that they can keep fleeing from you, and that can be quite a very tedious process. All right, as you guys can see, we're here on the map where it's marking. We just gotta go there and try to capture it on uh, this. I didn't even know the police officer could battle you. I guess they battle you post content because I wasn't even able to battle him before. He didn't want to battle. I don't know what happened. But anyways, this is bullcrap. <laughs> now I have to battle him while he ruined my fun trying to capture the legendary. I always never really liked doing the the thing of chasing the legendaries. I always thought it was kind of a tedious process, but they brought it back in this game. I can't really say anything about that, but they decided to bring it back. And it is a very tedious process. You have to keep searching for them and it can take up to an hour, even more. I would recommend, however, okay, we're almost there, okay, hopefully he doesn't catch me, yeah, he caught me. <laughs> I guess he only uh, battles people at night because it's nighttime. I feel like uh, Miss Spirit is gonna walk away <laughs> due to my battles. Metatite, so okay, we got Metatite and. Um,
Should be around here. There we go. Hmm, might not want to use the other attack. Let's see if Mess Prairie fled. Yeah, having Master Balls would be more ideal. Alright, so the previous time it was a failed attempt, but um, I decided like, you know, Miss Spirit is seriously a annoying Pokemon. So, <laughs> it's hard. Um, there's different ways you can capture him and I will give you some tips basically you're gonna you're gonna want to get a Pokemon or something with either paralyze or sleep if you don't want to use your master ball I however recommend you use your master ball because it's a pain this this Pokemon it's one of the craziest Pokemons to capture like it's it's one of the hardest ones i think they intentionally did that on purpose so it's the same way as chrysalia um and i'm gonna regret it I'm, I'm gonna totally regret it later that i capture him with a master ball so it's really not hard to actually make him uh spawn near your location i mean he literally spawns in a location that's near you. Alright, so yeah, I went the wrong way, but um, like I said, max repel and just walk on foot. Keep using your max repel. I recommend it. And then that little bastard actually went somewhere else. Alright, so and he went back somewhere else. As you guys may know, it was kind of hard for me to actually encounter him the first time, but the second time it wasn't too difficult, but I don't know. So yeah, the when when I was playing the when we were playing the original games like back in the day, it, he was one of the harder Pokémon to capture. Like he would just escape from you, and it was annoying. But, I mean, just keep being persistent and chasing his path on foot. Because if you fly to him, he will escape. As you guys saw, um, I literally forgot that he does fl fled um, if you don't capture him uh, the proper way. You And the reason why you want to continue using max repels is because you don't want to encounter other Pokemon. I think that we encounter him again. I think this is like his favorite spot. I feel like this is where he tends to come a lot. And uh, this area. Well, not really. But anyways, you get the point, guys. I actually managed to, smir by a miracle, uh, catch up to him, I think. I don't think he'll move. Let's see. Alright. Alright, so yeah, he didn't move. You just gotta, that's what I recommend you do. You just chase him until you're able to actually encounter him. Like, we're in the area right here, right now. He should be around here. Imagine trying to capture his shiny version of himself. Alright, I've noticed that 
that using max repel after it ends, it it doesn't really matter. One other thing you could do is before you encounter him, you could also put save and then reset the game, but that's really going to take you a long time. And I don't really want to do that, but anyways, let's just throw a Master Ball at him. And I think Cresselia is the same way as well. So if you don't have another Master Ball, you're kind of screwed. Um, but there's ways. Right now, I don't have a Sleeping Powder Pokemon. Uh, but I will in the future. Alright, so let's go ahead and capture the other ones. Um, kind of mad that this Pokemon actually made me... Made me go everywhere for it. So, Miss Spirit was... You're an annoying Pokemon for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and use Bag and Max Repel again. And we're gonna go ahead and go into the next lake, which... I think this is the fastest way to get there. Through this city. So as you guys noticed, uh, we chased them through there. Um, I don't think you have to chase the other ones. Which is a really awesome thing that we don't have to because that would have been totally annoying but you, we don't have to chase the other ones i think for the other ones you just literally have to go to their lakes and they will not be flying out like that smith spirit is the only one that does that it's it's just the only pokemon that does that don't know why, don't ask me why. <laughs> He's just the one that's the most annoying. I do recommend you put save every time you're about to capture one. Lake Valor, as you guys can see, the water is back. Always look around when you swim around here because sometimes you can find like TMs and stuff. I don't think this one has. Yeah, it does. It has something hidden here. Always look around because you can find like, like stuff. I found Thunder right here, which is a pretty good TM for most people, I think. Miss Spirit's the only one that's probably gonna give you a hard time. Asloff. Wow, I actually made a mistake. I should have put save right before I got into this cave. I'm gonna try not to hit him so hard because it's gonna suck if I'm not able to capture him. I actually need a switch Pokemon, man. Um, my lowest one is Jirachi, so Jirachi might be the way. This is our second attempt in trying to capture this freaking Pokemon. This Pokemon has been giving us hell. So hopefully we are able to capture him soon. 
top of him being a strong Pokemon. It's also causing us issues. Just takes a couple of tries, but eventually you will capture him. Took a lot of tries. God damn, that actually took me a while. Alright, um... Let's go to the town map, and... Let's go ahead and go into... The next area where the next one is at. I forgot where the next one was at. That's actually in Snow Point City, actually. I don't know why I forgot. But yeah, it's in Snow Point City. For the final one. Um, I'm gonna use Max Repel because. Well, you know how it is. 
don't want to... How do I only have 10 max repel left? Hopefully this one is a little bit easier. Because the other ones were not easy at all. There should be a TM around here. I don't know why they always put TMs in the weirdest locations. I definitely recommend you put save <laughs> before you actually go here because you don't want to end up Ruining your opportunity. So let's go ahead and try to capture it. Hopefully this one is more easier to capture, but we'll see.
Johnny. So in the previous video, I taught you how to get Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock. Uh, we're gonna teach you how to get Reggie Gigas now. So it's actually pretty easy. The only thing you have to do is you're gonna want to go ahead and withdraw him from your box, your PC box after you got them. If you have Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Ice in your PC box, go ahead and put them in your party. Make sure to put them all in your party. And you're going to want to go ahead and head over to Snow Point Temple. They have to be in your party or else you will not be able to unlock Re Reggie Gigas. Um, I don't know why, but it's just a requirement. So after you do that, you're going to want to go... Head to Snow Point City Temple. And also, you don't necessarily have to get Reggie Gigas. I mean, you don't necessarily have to get all these three Pokemon from the Ramanas Temple. But you can. Um, and basically, just have him in your party. And then this lady will talk to you. Only a chosen one made to her. I'm sorry, but you will have to leave. It's okay, you can let that person in. Cynthia sent the word to me. You're working on the Pokedex, aren't you? There should be many rare Pokemon in the temple. Enjoy your exploring. And basically, all you have to really do is go downstairs. You're going to encounter Sneasel along the way. Which he can be quite annoying at certain times. Anyways, make your way down the temple. And try to slide through the ice. It's really not that hard. It isn't as hard as other stuff that we have played through. It's pretty easy. I think I should put a max repel just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, we should put a max repel. Because we are going to need it. Where is that max repel? Sorry, I got a bunch of items due to due to being on the underground. I always put max repel because I don't really want to deal with the wild Pokemon. So it's not really that hard, as you guys can see. We had worse at the gym. Alright, this one might be the hardest one. Yeah, this one might be the hardest one. Um, I even I don't know how to get through it. Maybe through here, through the middle. There we go. It's really not that hard just go around mess around with the puzzles and there's a pokeball here maybe it's something that's worth money I don't know how do you get this one that is kind of weird though why is there a boulder there all right how do we get that pokeball actually Okay, I get it. It's kind of weird at the first, but it's pretty easy. You get never melt ice there, so it's worth it. If you haven't gotten it, it's worth it. I always thought it was pretty cool how they did the uh, this Pokemon included in the in this um in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl when they came out how they continued the Regis and there you see the wonderful Reggie Gigas um so I don't know you had to figure your way to get him I don't think he's hard to get I think you just have to work your way around. 
I don't know why they do these. These are sometimes feel like they're challenging, but they're really not. It's just kind of tedious because it's making you go <laughs> everywhere. All right, we got to figure this out. Stop playing around and figure this out. Maybe through here. Or not. Yeah, I have to probably through that middle rock right there. Okay, I think I got it. At least I think I do. Mm, actually, no, I do not have it. Uh, he's kind of annoying to get in there, but let's let's figure out the pattern. I don't know. Like it's really it's really confusing. It's really confusing. I don't think this one worked well. Let's try it through here. Nope, that pattern did not work for me either. Through here? Nope. Alright, let's try a different way then. Uh, maybe through the middle. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Does this take me? Nope. Where will this take me? Where will this take me? There we go! It's a statue of Pokemon. Seems to exude power. You're in grave writing. A body of rock. A body of ice. A body of steel. We gather the three Pokemon. The king shall appear. Zoo. So Rizzy Gigas is awake. As you guys may see, it's a pretty unique uh, Pokemon. The way they made you wake him up is just freaking awesome. I gotta admit, uh, I think that's pretty dope. So he was the king of the of the other Reggie Gigas. Um, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, they um, they sort of really made it a little bit different. But you know, it was tolerable. I don't think it was too hard to do. So yeah. And that's how you get Reggie Gigas. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button, ladies and gentlemen. And like for more content. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to capture ground on in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining and Pearl. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is beat the Elite Four. And then you'll be able to unlock Romana's Park. And the next thing you're going to do is... You're going to talk to these people right here at the counter and you're going to want to go ahead and buy the discovery slates three times I believe or maybe even two might work. I don't really remember but anyways you're going to use that as the first event in one of the caves previously and after you do that you'll be able to unlock all the other slates and you're going to want to buy the tectonic slate in order to get the ground on and be able to actually unlock the cave for ground on. And that's pretty much all you really have to do if you want to capture a Groudon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Did I go to this one yet? Let me see. May have missed one. I think I did. No, I actually missed one. I think this is Groudon actually. Yeah, this is ground on. So to a point it was cool, but I don't understand why some of them went through the distortion world. There you go, ground on was caught.
He leaves uh, Pokeballs, Lychee Berry, and Salak Berry. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get Kyogre in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So you're going to want to beat the Elite Four and then you're going to want to head over to the Romanos Park after it is unlocked. And you're going to want to talk to the ladies in the counter and make sure to first get two Discovery Slates so you can unlock all the other Slates later on after you get the first two Legendary Pokemons from a statue. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is buy the Oceanic Slate. It doesn't really matter which one you get as long as you get the Oceanic Slate. And then you'll be able to actually head over to the Kyogre Cave and be able to capture the Pokemon. The Oceanic one, I guess you only get one of them exclusively depending on the version of your game so in ours we get Kyogre and the other game is gonna get ground on kind of wish we got ground on though so depending on the version of the game you have you will either get Kyogre or ground on And the final one, I believe, is going to be Garatina. Enigma Battery? I mean, Berry. Mickleberry. Costat Berry. So they just give you overall Boy, more berries. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get Latias and Latios in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining and Pearl. So the way you get it is you're going to have to beat the Elite Four and you're going to want to head over to Romana's Park. In order to do that, you're going to talk to the lady in the counter and you're going to have to have already done the event for the two Discovery Slates so that you can unlock the other Slates. And the slates that you're going to want to get is the soul slates. And you're going to have to get two of them, I believe, so you can unlock the Latias and Latios. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Once you get these mysterious shards in Romanus Park, you'll be able to find their cave. And we're going to go ahead and put every single slate on here then. So this is for the soul slate. I would assume this would have to do something with the, the Johto region. Probably Lugia. Oh no. It actually was... It gives you Latias. You can actually capture Latias. Latias. So with this one, you will be able to capture Latias uh, in the first one. And I think you will also be able to get Latios as well. Latias and Latios. So we're going to go ahead and capture it. And see what happens. So I was kind of surprised. They actually released a lot of different Pokemon. They didn't just release the beginning Pokemons. They released like Latias and Latios. I didn't really expect them to be here. But I feel like almost every Pokemon game that has came out. Like they're just nostalgic with this. Um, and they give you Apricot uh, Berry, 
And you can also capture another one as well with the slow slate. And I believe the other one is Latios. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I think it is Latios. With that slow slate, you can actually capture him. And yeah, that's pretty dope. So let's go ahead and capture Latios and see what other one we can capture next. I think the three legendary dogs might even be available for capture as well. And we can send them to our box. So that's pretty cool. Latios and Latias can both be captured. And you can actually get their statues as well for both of them. And it gives you Soul Duel. So you actually get a Soul Duel item as well when you manage to get these as well. So that's pretty interesting. And Pattaya Berry as well. And yeah, that is your boy Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to capture Mewtwo and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining and Pearl. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is beat the Elite Four. And after you beat the Elite Four, you will be able to unlock Romana's part. Now, the first thing that you will have to do is talk to these ladies at the counter. And you're going to have to get these two Discovery Slates. And once you get these Discovery Slates and activate them inside, you should be able to unlock all of the other Slates included in the game. So the one that you want to go ahead and buy is the Genome Slates. These Genome Slates will allow you to acquire the Mewtwo. So as long as you buy it, you should be able to acquire the Mewtwo and then head over to the cave area where Mewtwo lies in. And you'll be able to activate it so Mewtwo can come out and you'll be able to catch him. Instead, they included them so you don't have to transfer it so you can get your Reggie. This is the Genoma one. And I believe this one is for Mewtwo. Both versions of the game will bring these. Then Mewtwo was caught. The Mewtwo statue looks pretty cool. It's literally like his, um, where he was um made your boy johnny in today's video i'm going to teach you how to get kyogre in pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl so you're gonna want to beat the elite four and then you're gonna want to head over to the romanas park after it is unlocked and you're gonna want to talk to the ladies in the counter and make sure to first get two discovery slates so you can unlock all the other slates later on after you get the first two legendary pokemons from a statue so the next thing that you're gonna want to do is by the Oceanic Slate. It doesn't really matter which one you get, as long as you get the Oceanic Slate. And then you'll be able to actually head over to the Kyogre Cave and be able to capture the Pokemon.
This one may be for a ho-ho, the rainbow one. There we go. Okay. Gives you a nice, pretty cool statue there. No Pokeballs, Pokeballs for your boy for that one. Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to acquire Rayquaza and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny and Pearl. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and fly over to Romana's Park. And once you fly over to Romana's Park, you're going to want to go ahead and talk to the person on the counter. So you can buy one of the Rayquaza plates, which I believe is one of these. Remember, you have to collect Mysterious Shards from Underground before you're able to capture this Pokemon. And you're going to want to get the Stratospheric Slates. So the Stratospheric Slates will allow you to access Rayquaza in its own little uh, cave. After you are able to defeat, uh, actually capture all the ones that you currently got from those um, caves... You'll be able to unlock them and you'll be able to put in the, the cartridges in uh, after you purchase them. So for example, now we have the Stratospheric uh, Slate, which I think gives you Rayquaza. And it appears that Rayquaza is sort of like in the distortion world. They allowed the environment to be like distortion world for some reason. Which is cool. Not a bad thing at all. And then the other version of the games you get Articuno. And those Pokemon. And then the Statue of Rayquaza gets recorded. And it looks really cool. I like the way they did it. And you get two Pokeballs. You get a Jaboka Berry. And... Rope Wap Berry. What else? Oh my gosh, I accidentally left. And Rosili Berry. Those could help you for Boy, the Johnny. Concepts. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to get a lot of shards from the underground area so if you've been playing underground you get those mysterious shards and you're gonna go ahead and buy them and exchange them for the cartridge slots that you are watching in the video and after that you're gonna go into the romanas parks inside of it and you're gonna go into the first ruins that you see so if you have three cartridge slots you're going to be able to have access to all of the reggies here and this will actually help you later on because you're going to want to be able to capture all Reggie Gigas 
which um, requires you to get all of the Regis instead of actually transferring them over. You can just get them in the game. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining and Pearl tutorial videos. Peace out. I'm going to teach you how to get Raikyu, Entei, Suicune, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is that in order to obtain all these Pokemon for Brilliant Diamond, you're going to get the trio dogs. For example, Entei, Raikyu, and Suicune in Brilliant Diamond. And for Shining Pearl, 
You're going to get the exclusives of Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, but you won't be able to get the Trio Dogs in Shining Pearl. So it all really depends on which version of the game that you get, and that will correspond to which game gets these Pokemon. So it doesn't really matter, but it's the same step every single time. So you're going to want to go ahead and beat the Elite Four, and you're going to unlock Romana's Park, and you're going to want to go ahead and get some Mysterious Shards from Underground, and you're going to go ahead and talk to the lady here, and you're going to want to go ahead and buy two or three Johto slots. You're probably going to need uh, three of the Johto slot slates. Um, also, I have to mention that if you have the Shining Pearl version, it's going to be canceled for you. So you're going to have canceled slates on that version. And remember that you have to unlock the first discovery slates and do some of, this, of the discoveries for the Regis. That way you can unlock the other ones. So yeah, depending on the version of the game, you'll be able to get uh, these Pokemon. But it's the same steps in the same way in order to obtain them in Shining Pearl. Can I get either? I'll probably have to go outside again and see what other one I could probably get. This is the Johto room. Okay, so this one I might be able to get. The Johto slates will be for, I'm assuming, the trio of the dogs. Yeah, Raikou. You can get Raikou. Entei and Suicune. And from the looks of it, if you have a Pokemon Pearl, you can get the, um, I think in that one, I don't know if it's different where they're going to give you Articuno. It's the Cancel Slates. But yeah, I think th that one might be a little bit different. The Johto Slates, let's see what they look like and what they give us. And there goes Entei. And we managed to capture Entei. Then Suicune. To be honest, I, I'm not even disappointed with the Pokemon Di uh, Dialga version, the Diamond version, because if you have played the past Pokemon games, um, you pretty much know that they always release Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. And they haven't given... They, they always release every single Pokemon, even from Oras. But... Um, it's pretty unique because I think even in the previous games we got the Galarian, Moltres, Zapdos. So we never got in the treatment for these Pokemon. So I think it's only fair that these were released. I am still however curious what the other slates are for. The Johto room, and they give you like 
Pokeballs as well after you collect them all. Well, some of them do. Any minute now. Any there we go. Guess who's here? Legendary Pokemon Heat Ran. Make sure to have put save and um, capture him. Basically, just leave him lower level, put, put him to sleep. Don't try to, don't try to over hit him. You should be able to capture him easy with an Ultra Ball. I recommend the Ultra Ball. He's pretty easy to capture with an Ultra Ball as well. Or if you have a Master Ball, extra ones, you can capture him with that too. But he's not really that hard. He, he's catchable with Ultra Balls. Um, that's the only thing I recommend stockpile on like a hundred of them And that's pretty much it like for real that's pretty much About it and we're gonna use an escape rope. Do I even have more escape ropes? I think I do I think I do Hopefully it gets us all the way out of the mountain. Yep, it does. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And that's how you capture it. In order to get your mana fee, all you're really going to have to do is go to Mystery Gift and get via internet. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you'll be able to obtain a mana fee egg for your Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl events. And it will be available till February 21st, 22. So you'll be able to get this one. And it takes, it gives you the instructions here. It takes approximately 10 hours of playtime before you're able to reach the Pokemon Nursery and Salacian Town. And it tells you everything here. So, yeah. So, that's the last legendary Pokemon that you can get legitimately. Now, I know there's Darkrai and Arceus and Shaman. But, um, those Pokemon are only going to be able to be gotten in the future by an update and an event that comes out. A uh, no event has came out at this moment, so you won't be able to get those and that's why I didn't include those legendaries at that moment at this moment So I'm just including in this video all the legendaries that you can get at the moment Make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more Pokemon content and peace out